this is related to Rag Darbari. And Rag Darbari, uh, it is written in Hindi and uh, it was written uh, in first it was written in 1968 it was first published then in 70 just uh, you know one year after the publication uh, it was given uh, sahitya academy award which is a very prestigious award in the uh, in the field of literature and uh, later on uh, because it was a very popular text and it has got a lot of fame and it is talking a lot about Indian society. Whatever, uh, I mean, if you, uh, if we try to understand the exact insight into the Indian, uh, Indian, Indianness or Indian uh, thinking, Indian behavior, Indian pattern, then this is one of the best text. And uh, primarily it is written in Hindi and earlier also I have um, most of the time I have told that if you have to understand uh, I mean because if you are from North India and if you you can read and write Hindi uh, you can read uh, I don't know but if you even if you can read it and you can understand uh, it uh, is the text which first you need to read in Hindi and then after that you can go for translation. But actually, if you are not, uh, you, you don't know Hindi anyhow, any, anywhere, then uh, I think English is also, uh, the translation is done by uh, Gillian Wright. And uh, <coughs> the text which I have of translation is the introduction by the uh, Francisco Orsini. So, uh, I mean, uh, actually I was... Uh, I was I'm always keen and I'm um, uh, uh, I mean when we I'm talking about this text I'm most of the time I'm keen that let me talk to let me talk in Hindi and all of you if you understand Hindi then uh, you know some of the references will take uh, from Hindi then uh, mostly later on classes will be covered in English so that is not a problem but uh, let me just make you understand because uh, right now, today, I'm trying to give you, uh, you know, information and uh, what is there in the initial pages. Uh, because this has been written in chapter wise. So, till chapter 7, if we have enough time, uh, we will be discussing this uh, till chapter 7. In this chapter 7, 1 to 7, what are the things which is going on? And as I'm, you know, <coughs> already assuming that all of you know the story. What is the story of Shopalgan? Because you guys are in second year. Also has uh, initially he is being introduced as he has done his masters uh, in history, and uh, he has done his masters in history from a uh, good university in India. And after that, you know he want to take some little gap. Okay, so uh, he's is of your age, and uh, I can simply imagine how Ranganathan would be. But this Ranganathan is in 1968. So, um, that time, uh, you know, postgraduate student. And that time, India, we are trying. Because this is immediately after Nehru. This is post-Nehru in Indian polity. And, uh, uh, you know, by that time, uh, how much? 1968. So, 68 to 78, 88, 98, 2008. And 2018, almost 50 years, uh, 50, uh, 55 years before uh, we have to uh, see. So I think uh, this young man who who has done his MA, uh, you can imagine, you know, the young age of your parents, your father, and uh, what your father he might have been in during his post graduation, and what kind of time period uh, he might have seen during that time, society, polity, uh, culture. Uh, and this is an urban and a rural scenario. Everything we can understand. So, uh, the time period is more than 55 or 60 years. So, uh, I mean, you know, uh, immediately after uh, Nehru. Uh, so, this one party system is there. Right now, only one party is ruling in Indian uh, polity. And that is Congress party. So, 
during that time what kind of society is there what kind of rural urban scenario is there what kind of things are there newspaper publication uh, culture everything you we need to understand during this time and uh, i will be trying to covering uh, if we have enough time uh, initial seven chapters but before that let me just give you little understanding about this so what is this uh, understanding i'm taking what are the things which i am trying to uh, talk here okay it is uh, the politically uh, right now we have we see one party system only congress is ruling and the other party in india is uh there is no second party or there is no second powerful party which can come on the front level and which can rule the parliament so uh, that's how you can simply say that uh, the uh, as as and when we talk about uh, the uh, democracy and administration one single party system is very prominent which, which is very powerful and uh, most of the time uh, this kind of scenario is uh, running in the newspaper and in the culture literature most of the time you will find that urban and nationalistic idealization of villages there our villages are being represented and reflected <coughs> and projected in a way as if you know it's a it's a um, uh, heaven on the earth so when the moment during this time uh, if you see the uh, when people talk about village administration village polity a uh, village uh, society then it's a complete uh, i mean a complete idealization is there we see as if we do not have any problem in rural india uh, there is no unemployment there is no corruption there is no crime there is no conflict in the society the caste system is not existing these kind of representations are given which is simply a rhetoric there is no reality and what contrary contrary to that uh, uh, rag darbar is representing which is representing reality in the most subtle way okay so the romanticization of village which is which is completely not existing and uh, how how i mean you know corrupt filthy uh, patriarchal and a uh, uh, a uh, one sided representative and democratic society we have this is being reflected in the most satirical and a most uh, uh, most light way so very i mean i mean very deep and disturbing statements are being made by shilal shukla in the most subtle and a most satire and most simple way uh, which doesn't hurt you but which is which which are loaded with very serious meaning so what are the points we right now see we see that there is a gap between aspiration and possibility okay there are lot of aspirations are there india uh, it is 68 so uh, after 47 57 and 67 almost 30 years of independence is there uh, it's a it's a young democracy and people have lot of aspiration okay the second generation is the uh, in free independent india i think it's a second generation is rising and they have their aspiration there is a uh, there is a need for employment there is a need for constructing the country you know nation process uh, in the nation building process uh, all the major projects need to be make, made made uh, which can produce uh, the self sufficient economy the self sufficient country okay it is producing its agriculture its uh, its its requirement for example food clothing uh, eateries all these are the basic fundamental requirements for any country uh, for that the country need to be sufficient independent you know fulfilling the uh, requirement of the uh, citizen of the country so for that matter there is a lot of aspiration people want to get education women are also trying to struggle they are trying to represent themselves in the market economy uh, and outside those four walls uh, four walls of so uh, there is a you know how this uh, gap between aspiration and possibilities there the moment you see newspaper and the other representation you find that there is a uh, you know the india is so bright it's so beautiful no problem is there 
but practically if you go to village and you see the interior structure of the village society community and then you will find this 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 is what shivpal ganj so shivpal ganj is a microcosm okay it's a micro level unit which is representing complete india you take shivpal ganj as a single simple micro unit and whatever is happening in shivpal ganj we do not see representation of women at all it means in the on the national level women representation in polity society economy culture is absent completely shivpal ganj ha is having a lot of conflict the administrative economy revenue is being controlled by one person one community one caste and that is what happening exactly in the india at the national level okay so uh, and uh, the 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 political system and one party is uh, deciding so there is no second opinion there is no debate there is no uh, conflict which is re uh, reflected in the newspaper also because if you go to the archive uh, through the headlines of the newspaper and the news everything we can uh, understand also so there is a gap between rhetoricism and the development whatever being whatever being said whatever being projected and actually what is happening in the name of development is also there is a complete gap so this rag darbari actually uh, unfold the reality which is which is actually covered with the uh, rhetorics uh, with the uh, superficial superficiality and the false development so that is what uh this is being uh, reflected this is being uh, taught here and uh, that's how uh, so i will take little more liberty and then i will try to uh, uh, re reflect all these things in the uh, in the in the language itself okay and uh, see my concern would be see, the from chapter 1 to 7 the issues which i'm talking the issues which are being reflected there are many uh, there are issues related to caste Uh, gender religion society language uh, administration uh, polity uh, administration uh, all these issues are there so uh, there are two ways either i can take uh, you know i can take uh, i mean i i i i can put my statement under the uh, uh, specific segments for example when i'm talking about women i can talk about women uh, when i'm talking about society i can just read out those parts which are Uh, exclusively devoted for the society and oh, in this way i can go but what i thought because you know i, I instead of going forth in, in a in a much more mechanical way let me go to the uh, flow uh, le le let's go in a flow uh, so in the uh, beginning uh, i mean the description of a road which is uh, earlier also i have talked and a description of the uh, uh, this uh, uh, chai so let me just give you in a very brief way i'll take you i i will talk about you sadak ke ek aur petrol station tha dusri aur chhapparon lakdi aur team ke sade tukdo sthaniya kshamta ke anusar niklne wale kabad ki madad se khadi ki gayi dukane pehle nigah malum ho jata tha why i'm reading this statement because there is a huge satire there is a big serious satire which is reflected here after reading the statement uh, we will go for that पहली निगाह में ही मालूम हो जाता था कि दुकानों की गिनती नहीं हो सकती प्राय सभी में जनता का एक मनपसंद पेय मिलता था जिसे वहाँ गर्द चीकट चाय की कई बार इस्तेमाल की हुई पत्ती और खोलते पानी आदि के सहारे बनाया जाता था उनमें मिठाइयाँ भी थी उनमें मिठाइयाँ भी थी जो दिन रात आंधी पानी मक्खी मच्छरों के हमले का बहादुरी से मुकाबला करती वे हमारे देसी कारीगरों के हस्त कौशल और उनकी वैज्ञानिक दक्षता का सबूत देती वे बताती थी कि हमें एक अच्छा रेजर ब्लेड बनाने का नुस्खा भले ही न मालूम हो पर कूड़े को स्वादिष्ट खाद्य पदार्थों को बदल देने की तरकीब सारी दुनिया में अकेले हम ही को है नाउ प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड देर आर टू स्टेटमेंट्स विच आर वेरी डीप एफ्लेक्टिव अम्पल रेजर ब्लेड रेजर ब्लेड इज समथिंग वेरी बेसिक नीड फॉर Uh, human beings which is required every single day so uh, the even if we are not able to produce uh, it means in the manufacturing unit in the manufacturing uh, area we are so poor that we cannot 
we don't know how to produce or manufacture a razor blade which is basically required every single day but uh but we know how to convert a dirt and a fill in a good eatery this is what it is so this this statement is reflective in two sense one is that how our morals and values fallen down so below that while if as a person who is involved in the business of uh, cooking and food you know uh, or eateries uh, they hardly bother about any kind of a uh, moral and uh, i mean self realization that what they are giving to their customers and the food and the eateries out of that it's a business out of that they are getting money profit and livelihood but uh, the people who are involved in this business they hardly bother that what they are giving to their customers so it is a moral less uh, society it's a reflection of the moral less society which can go beyond any level uh, while just thinking for the benefit and profit and the second is it in the manufacturing level we don't know even how to produce or manufacture a smallest uh, thing which could help uh, uh, to become india as a self sufficient but we know how to produce filled and dirt in the good eating material that's how this is there and uh, there is a good debate or a discussion going between rangnath and truck driver and uh, how this truck driver is talking to him and ultimately in their discussion or baatcheet mein uh, driver ask him ki shirman aajkal kya kar rahe hain what are you doing and uh, the reply of rangnath is ghas khod raha hu aur isi ko angrezi mein research kehte hain so it's again a big satire on the higher studies when somebody is going for higher studies and they are doing research and uh, what is meaningful and significant they are doing uh, this is what a big question here so where while somebody is do, going for the research maybe you know out of some uh, examination or uh, some degree they can get a job which they can uh, fulfill their own life and desire but what actually we are contributing to the country that is another big question so that's how the discussion is going on and then rangnath talks about uh, his uh, uh, his uh, he talks about his research and why he is going to a uh, village ab uske baad aata hai uh, you know there is another very good interaction we find uh, this is the reference which i am giving is page number 10 and in this we find that uh, when the truck is going on the road uh, suddenly a uh, police department you know police personnel they come and stop the truck and this truck is uh, again a symbol of uh, i mean uh, th- this truck is a symbol of how the uh, the mighty and the powerful they break the rule and they get their benefit and they get their work done so it's again a social perspective and uh, is being attached with the truck truck which is breaking all the rules and which is in such a terrible condition that logically uh, it cannot run on the road because it 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 is putting the life of other small uh, vehicles going on the road uh, in danger but you know nobody bothers about that so uh, and that's how uh, the there there is a huge satire you can find out when the truck is going on uh, after some time the police personnel stop it and they start checking it and what is that station wagon se ek afsar numa chaprasi aur chaprasi numa afsar utre khaki kapde pehne hue do sipahi bhi utre unke utarte hi pindariyon jaisi loot khasot shuru ho gayi kisi ne driver ka license chheena kisi ne registration card koi vacuum mirror khatkhatane back 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 mirror khatkhatane laga koi truck ka horn bajane laga koi brake dekhne laga उन्होंने फुट फुट फुटबोर्ड हिला कर देखा बत्तियां जलाई पीछे बजने वाली घंटी टुनटुनाई उन्होंने जो कुछ भी देखा वह खराब निकला जिस चीज को छुआ उसमें गड़बड़ी आ गई तरह उन चार आदमियों ने चार मिनट में लगभग चालीस दोष निकाले नाउ यू सी दू नो एफिशियंसी ऑफ द लैंग्वेज एंड हाउ ब्यूटिफुली 
uh, and uh, you know the satirical language is being used here is tarah un char aadmiyon ne 4 minute mein lagbhag 40 dosh nikal liye us us truck mein now this truck is a symbol of our administration and what is that it has every single part of it is damaged or non functioning but still it is running on the roads and it is breaking all the uh, rules of, uh, uh, rules of the also of the road and finally what happened again we see the uh, you know next level corruption and that next level corruption is that uh, the truck driver is able because truck driver knew whatever faults and uh, rules he is breaking but if he could feed uh, some money to uh, police personnel then he can get away and that same thing happened and finally we uh, if we move forward then we see that uh, there is a reference of education system aur ye main padh ke sunati hu vartman shiksha paddhati raste mein padi hui kutiya hai jise koi bhi laat maar sakta hai driver bhi us par rasta chalte chalte ek jumla maar kar chaprasi ki saath ट्रक की ओर चल दिया रंगनाथ ने देखा शाम गिर रही है उसका अटैची ट्रक में रखा शिवपालगंज अभी पाँच मील दूर है और उन्हें लोगों को सद्भावना की जरूरत थी वह धीरे धीरे ट्रक की ओर चला उधर स्टेशन वैगन का ड्राइवर हॉर्न बजा बजा कर चपरासी को वापस बुला रहा था सो द ट्रक इज ऑल्सो द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द ट्रक द फिजिकल कंडीशन ऑफ द ट्रक इज सिंबॉलिक वन द बिहेवियर विच इज बींग डन बाय पुलिस पर्सनल इज अनादर लेस नेक्स्ट लेवल सिग्निफिकेंस दैट हाउ दिस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन द पीपल हु गॉट इन टू गवर्नमेंट जॉब एंड द पीपल हु आर दे आर परफॉर्मिंग यू नो दे आर दे आर सपोज टू परफॉर्म देर ड्यूटी वेरी वेल हाउ दे आर डूइंग इट सो दीज आर ऑल वेरी माइनर सटायर्स एंड दैट्स हाउ दिस टेक्स्ट इज सो रिफ्लेक्टिव नाउ द नेक्स्ट वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट थिंग इज दैट यू नो द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ थाना पुलिस स्टेशन और पुलिस थाना इज अ यूनिट विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द एडमिनिस्ट फॉर द सेफ्टी लॉ एंड ऑर्डर नाउ हाउ दीज पीपल हु आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग लॉ एंड ऑर्डर हाउ डू दे बिहेव वॉट इज देयर बिलीफ सिस्टम एंड हाउ डू दे इम्प्लीमेंट द रेगुलेशन विच आर बींग विच इज विच इज देयर ड्यूटी सो ये थोड़ा सा दिस इज अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड Uh, let me just uh, you know how this police station is working because you know when a police station is there it need certain uh, certain uh, certain equipments at, on the basis of that it can work for example uh, they need some kind of rifles where they can uh, protect the city or uh, they can stop any miscreant uh, illegal elements uh, number 1 they need some proper jeep and good vehicles so they can run after uh, those uh, criminals and uh, they they need i mean you know the in everything even if the communication system also they need a good system so they can approach they can go far beyond to the criminals they they, they must be having a better equipment and better efficient uh, system so they can catch the okay, catch those criminals but you know what is the condition and uh, that's how uh, this uh, see the condition <coughs> of police station okay aap thoda sa isko uh, sunna yahan baith kar agar koi charon aur nigah daudata to use malum hota ki vah itihas ke kisi kone mein khada hai abhi is thane ke liye fountain pen nahi bana tha us disha mein kuch kul itni tarakki hui thi ki kalam sar kande ka nahi tha you know pen which is a basic unit to register that's why uh you can simply correlated with the fir most of the police station uh, you can simply correlated with the fir most of the police stations uh they don't register fir the moment you register an fir uh after that there is a compulsion for them to investigate okay they have to investigate somebody has come and he is complaining that okay usne fala fala ne mujhe mara ye kiya ya mere sath jaati hui koi mahila pahunchti hai ki unhone mujhe परेशान किया दे ट्राई टू आउटरेज माई मॉडेस्टी तो जैसे ही आपने एफ आई आर की उसके बाद नेक्स्ट होता है कि द पुलिस हैज टू गो टू द कल्प्रिट एंड देन दे हैव टू इन्वेस्टिगेट सो इसके इसमें काम होता है डेली का दे हैव टू इन्वेस्टिगेट देन दे हैव टू मेक रिपोर्ट एंड द रिपोर्ट विल बी प्रेजेंटेड इन द कोर्ट एंड देन एविडेंस इज ऑन ऑल ऑल्सो इट्स इट्स अ लॉन्ग प्रोसेस विच स्टार्ट एंड फाइनली आफ्टर लिसनिंग बोथ द साइड्स ऑफ 
the victim and the culprit, uh, the judgment comes out. So it's a huge process for which a police has to do a lot of work. To avoid all kind of works, generally FIRs are being not, uh, you know, FIR is not written. Now, if FIR is written with pen, se. ठीक है कंप्यूटर अगर नहीं है तो पेन से लिखी जाएगी अब पेन ही प्रॉपर नहीं है तो एफ आई आर कहाँ से होगी अब यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड यू नो हाउ डीप लेवल श्री लाल शुक्ल इज ट्राइंग टू रिफ्लेक्ट द माइक्रो माइक्रोकॉजम एंड द डीप इन साइड रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ अवर सोसाइटी तो फाउंटेन पेन नहीं बना था तरक्की इतनी थी कि कलम सरकंडे का नहीं था पहले होता था काफ़ी बहुत पहले जब पेन का वैन यू नो दे वॉज नो इन्वेंशन ऑफ पेन एंड पेपर तब लोग ब्लू कलर का कोई इंक बना के और उसमें लकड़ी डुबो डुबो के वो लिखा करते थे सो एंड यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड आई मीन इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो बट स्टिल द प्रोग्रेस वॉट इज देर हथियारों में कुछ प्राचीन राइफलें थी जो लगता था कि गदर के दिनों में इस्तेमाल हुई होंगी वैसे सिपाहियों में सा, के साधारण प्रयोग के लिए बांस की लाठी थी जिसके बारे में एक कवि ने बताया कि वह नदी नाले पार करने में और चपट कर कुत्ते को मारने में उपयोगी साबित होती है यहाँ के लिए अभी जीप का अस्तित्व नहीं था जीप एक बेसिक व्हीकल है ओके जो कि पुलिस स्टेशन में होना जरूरी है जीप जीप के थ्रू क्रिमिनल्स को पकड़ा जाता है अक्यूज के पीछे भागा जाता है दैट इज द बेसिक व्हीकल विच एनी पुलिस स्टेशन एवरी पुलिस स्टेशन नीड बट दैट इज ऑल्सो एबसेंट हियर नदी लाले पार करने में जपट जपट कर कुत्ते को भगाने में उपयोगी साबित होती यहाँ के लिए अभी जीप का अस्तित्व नहीं था उसका काम करने के लिए दो तीन चौकीदारों के प्यार की छाव में पलने वाली घोड़ा नाम की सवारी थी जो शेर शाह के जमाने में हुआ करती थी थाने के अंदर ही आदमी को लगता था कि उसे उसे किसी ने उठाकर कई साल पहले फेंक दिया है सो यू सी हाउ दिस बेसिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव यूनिट विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मेंटेनिंग द लॉ एंड ऑर्डर ऑफ द टाउन इज इन सच ए डेस्परेट कंडीशन एंड दिस कुड अगेन लीड यू नो इफ यू गो टू पुलिस स्टेशन एंड इफ द व्हीकल इज नॉट देर द पुलिस पर्सनल विल सिंपली से हाउ के हाउ हाउ फार वी कैन गो आफ्टर दूज दोज क्रिमिनल्स बिकॉज वी डोंट हैव एनी मैकेनिज्म टू गो वी कैन राइट एफ आई आर वी डोंट हैव प्रॉपर इक्विपमेंट टू कैश द क्रिमिनल सो यू नो आई मीन यू नो द बोथ द थिंग्स आर वर्किंग द पीपल डोंट वॉन्ट टू वर्क बिकॉज दैट डोंट हैव एनी थिंग एंड नथिंग इज देयर सो द पीपल कांट वर्क इवन इफ समबडी वॉन्ट टू वर्क दे के नॉट वर्क लाइक इट्स ए काइंड ऑफ इंटर डिपेंडेंट फेल्योर ओके एंड फिर इसमें मोस्टली uh, भांग का रेफरेंस आता है विच इज अ विच इज अ लोकल सिडक्टिव ड्रिंक और विच इज विच इज अवेलेबल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए प्लांट तो uh, उसका रेफरेंस आता है थ्रू आउट दिस टेक्स्ट दिस रेफरेंस इज देयर the even if the equipments which are there existing or uh, after this when we move rupan babu rupan babu is a younger son of vaidh ji now vaidh ji is a very prominent and a significant uh, character of this novel and vaidh ji is a major character uh, vaidh ji is responsible for the medication of this town Vedji is below, he belongs to upper caste he is a brahmin and he is almost everywhere he is in a panchayat administration he is in a uh, college administration he is running his own business and he is making churan and chavan pras and uh, vedji is a uh, he is in every committee this form or that form so all the units local units whether they say panchayat or education or police station or whatever other units you say of the city everywhere without the permission and the consent of vaidh ji nobody can do anything a uh, how this one person who is a representative of one caste vaidh ji belongs to brahmin community and how uh, he is responsible for uh, you know making the administration and running the development of the town chupal ganj but 
what is happening internally if you see there are few people who are controlling complete shivpalgan or ek page number 28 se is pe 28 page number pe there is a one very a uh, crown statement you can quote even for your answer also that is ki pura shivpal ganj baid ji ki baithak mein uh, milta hai aapko shivpal ganj ko dekhna hai to baid ji ki baithak mein chale jaiye wahan aapko shivpal ganj milega jaise ki प्रिंसिपल साहब आपको वहीं मिलेंगे चेक लेके बैठे हुए उनको साइन करवाना होता है चेक पे अंटिल एन अलेस वैद्य जी कन्विंस्ड कि इस पे साइन करना है ये बजट सेंक्शन करना है नथिंग विल हैपन सपोज प्रिंसिपल सर हैज कम दैट सर वी नीड सम फोर टीचर्स एंड यू नीड टू साइन बिकॉज आफ्टर योर सिग्नेचर वी विल अपॉइंट दीज फोर टीचर्स एंड सपोज इफ दीज फोर टीचर्स आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग डिफरेंट कास्ट एंड जेंडर टू वेमेन टू मेल ऐसा सिलेक्शन करना बट वैद्य जी डजेंट एग्री वैद्य जी कहेंगे सारे ही ब्राह्मण ले लो तो तो आप समझ सकते हैं वहाँ वेमेन रिप्रेजेंटेशन नहीं है लोअर कास्ट रिप्रेजेंटेशन नहीं है फिजिकली हैंडी कैप्ड का रिप्रेजेंटेशन नहीं है ऑलमोस्ट कुछ भी रिप्रेजेंट नहीं करता है ओनली वन कास्ट वन कम्युनिटी एंड वन जेंडर अब आप समझ सकते हैं कि हमारे देश के रूल्स रेगुलेशन कैसे बने फिफ्टी ईयर्स तक और That's why we talk about representation. That's why Ambedkar talks about representation. Without representation, nothing can happen. आपको किसी भी फील्ड में जाना है वेर रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड सो दैट्स हाउ द सोसाइटी इज लोप साइडेड एक कास्ट एक कम्युनिटी एक तरह के लोग एक तरह का इंटरेस्ट एक तरह के बेनिफिट्स एक तरह का उसका यूटिलाइजेशन हाउ कैन वी से दैट दिस इज डेमोक्रेसी इट्स ए कास्टोक्रेसी इसे डेमोक्रेसी नहीं लगता ये तो कास्ट का रिप्रेजेंटेशन है सिर्फ एक सो so, अब इसमें आप यहां देखें कि द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस थाना अगेन यू सिंपली से इट्स ए कंप्लीट पेट्राकल विदाउट इक्विपमेंट एंड डिपेंडेंट ऑन द डिजायर एंड विश ऑफ वैद्य जी so the shivpal ganj is run by few people for example sarpanch who is mangal das mangal das or uh, shanichar mangal das shanichar the vaidya ji ka servant hai the principal is also without the desire and wish of vaidya ji he cannot do anything rest of the other two rebel one or two rebel teachers are there they finally in the end of the text they are being thrown out from the college the college politics which is being controlled representation wo rupan babu hai he is a younger son of vaidya ji jo economy hai administration hai ya shivpal ganj ka jo youth hai usko control karta hai business ko control karta hai wo badrinath badri pehlwan wo vaidya ji ka bada beta vaidya ji ki ghar mein वी हार्डली फाइंड एनी डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वुमेन की और टेशन है या उनकी कोई बात है वह हम नहीं हमें नहीं पता दिस होल सोसाइटी इज बींग कंट्रोल्ड बाई मैन एवरीवेयर पुलिस स्टेशन में आपको मिलेगा और वाट एवर रेफरेंसेज वी गेट और रामाधीन खेड भीखम खेडवी है इज ऑल्सो अपर कास्ट बनिया सो यू कैन सिंपली सी हाउ दिस दिस इज अ माइक्रो रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इंडिया and uh, that's how very significant statements we will find out so uh ab usme uh, somewhere this reference of samyavad the moment we talk about samyavad or socialism socialism talks about representation or socialism ki is text mein dhajiyan udai gayi hai samyavad hai socialism kya hai aisa kuch bhi nahi exist karta rupan babu ne kaha ji ha main to dekh raha hu डकैती ना हुई रिश्वत हो गई दारोगा जी ने भी उसी लहजे में कहा रिश्वत चोरी डकैती अब तो एक अब तो सब एक हो गया है पूरा साम्यवाद है यू सी द रेफरेंस वेयर दिस रेफरेंस ऑफ साम्यवाद इन सोशलिज्म इज कमिंग हियर ओके रिश्वत चोरी डकैती अब तो सब एक हो गया है पूरा वो रामाधीन भीखम खेड़वी को एक लेटर लिखा किसी ने और उसमें दे वॉन्ट टू एक्सटोर्ट मनी और देन देर इज अ huge debate and a discussion and a satire which is going on 
रूपन बाबू कम्स इन थेंस सेज दैट मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि आपके सिपाहियों में से किसी ने लिखा है एंड दारोगा इज मेकिंग ए स्टेटमेंट कि मेरे सिपाही तो पढ़े लिखे ही नहीं है कोई लिखना ही नहीं जानता दे के नॉट राइट सो रूपन बाबू का मैं आपको लेट मी गिव यू द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ रूपन बाबू बिकॉज ही इज ए यूथ लीडर एंड ही इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द कमिंग जनरेशन ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स पोलिटिकल फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडिया सो लेट मी जस्ट रीड आउट वट इज दिस रूपन बाबू रूपन बाबू स्थानीय नेता थे उनका व्यक्तित्व इस आरोप को काट देता था इंडिया में नेता होने के लिए पहले धूप में बाल सफेद करने पड़ते हैं उनके नेता होने का सबसे बड़ा आधार यह था कि एक्चुअली दिस उसी तरह उसी तरह इम्तहान में नकल करने वाला विद्यार्थी और कॉलेज के प्रिंसिपल उनकी निगाह में एक थे वे सबको दैनी वे सबको दैनी समझते थे उनका काम करते थे सबसे काम लेते थे राइट सो रूपन बाबू इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द यूथ पॉलिटिक्स एंड हाउ दिस यूथ पॉलिटिक्स इज शेपिंग हियर and the ideal uh, the uh, the idea and understanding of rupan babu will lead to the next representation in parliament so that's how uh, rupan babu is so significant let me just suggest give you some very significant statements related to the uh, to this text okay hmm this text not only uh, not only does irony give us a little distance from which the dismal uh, sight appear funny in the context of post independent india it is also guide us to read uh, this distance as a gap between aspiration and possibility between appearance and substance expectations and outcome reality and rhetoric that this is the clear cut uh, representation or understanding of this country we can understand that you know when you are trying to understand the social milieu of shivpal ganj which gives us a clear gap between aspiration and possibilities uh, appearance and substance expectations and outcome and reality and rhetoric what is actually existing and what is being talked about what we desire and what we get and what uh, you know it appears and how does it come out then uh, shivpal shivpal ganj village can also and should be read as a microcosm of a wider dynamics playing themselves out on the national stage so when you talk about india when you talk about macro uh, india representation total india then you will find that uh, shivpal ganj is a micro mini india uh, and the post colonial india uh, how this village pond bus stand fair all these are the ugly pictures of our indian community poverty is found actually you know the representation uh, how this uh, inside into the often uh, you know ganjha there is a one word which is Uh, uh which is repeatedly uh, referred for the natives of uh, this G- shivpal ganj they are known as ganjha as the village of shivpal ganj are called towards the dignity of public and natural space bound in ragdarbari and whatever better way of expressing irreverence towards a space than by shitting or pissing on it occasional reference to the food of food imports because of the food crisis to non alignment or to the recent war with china in 1962 or to f- uh, f- uh, factionalism within what we still basically in one party system or the village in difference to the village council election uh, so lower caste mobilization turned into the thriving area of local politics uh, another rag darbari to 1960 uh, similarly women are practically absent from the patriarca village structure apart from this bela and other women who are being veiled you know they are covered they are face covered they, the women flocks is uh, you know fairly they are sitting and defecating in the public uh, public space 